Hello internet people. Today I bring you the revival of this Honda Passport or uh, Isuzu Rodeo. Uh, depending on what you want to look at it as. So this one has been sitting here for uh, quite some time now. And uh, we're going to give it a little bit of love and see if we can't get it to run. Uh, this is a 1994 Isuzu or Honda Passport and we don't have the keys so the first thing I've done is busted off the column cover to access the back side of the key barrel now this is where the key goes in normally as I mentioned we don't have one of those the uh, wiper stock was already busted so what we're gonna do is you come over here to the back side yeah it's not the one okay. yeah Will's trying to tell me stuff I already know I went down there and pulled a key out of an Isuzu to see if it would work, but uh, won't even go in. So, you come over to the back side of the key barrel, there's a uh, Phillips head bolt right here on the top. And you're gonna back that guy out. And uh, once you get that out, you can pull the barrel assembly right out the back. Now, this is all we're gonna need to start the car, however, to be able to drive it, there's a parking lock, but as you can see right here, it has already been removed, so I bet you the sensor went bad. So that's done for. So we can get her into all the gears, but now we need to know uh, the steering because the steering is locked. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way. Sometimes if you manhandle them enough, you can break the steering lock, which that literally is just, you get a good arm on it and you twist and sometimes they'll break. This one looks like it's gonna be a little more uh, challenging than a simple twist. So probably gonna go get the air hammer and bust out the uh, steering column. So let's try to disassemble a little bit of this key barrel assembly on this side. See what we've got up underneath all this. So you pull out your bolts that hold the column in down here, and then if you pull it hard enough, you'll break the latch, and the entire column cover is going to spin with you. And don't forget your grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, don't forget your grated Parmesan cheese. So now we can turn the steering wheel around with the column. You're going to want to unplug the master loom, which controls your horn, your signals, and your high beams. Remember your columns down here and in cruise control, I already ripped the wiring harness out, but it runs to the same side. We've already busted that open. Now, if you're trying to just steal this thing to get away, you can take you some wire snips, cut the loom right here and break the turn signal stock off. We're not gonna cut them. But you can. This is gonna allow us to turn freely. And uh, now, last step is to find a battery and see if we've successfully stolen a Honda Passport. All right, so now what I've done, we went and jacked the battery out of the uh, rape van and disconnect those. Set this down for a second. Just hang on, guys. Such a newly acquired battery, however, you got it right here into this. And then, with any luck, Will has successfully stolen a Honda Passport. All right. So, put this down here, I guess. And just like that, we have a Honda Passport. We have a Honda Passport. Oh, with, with power steering, so that'll make this real easy to get away with. So look at that. And you still got, oh, that's right, we unplugged it. That's right, I was about to say we had turn signals. I'm gonna wrap this wire right around here like this. And uh, Ta-da! 
on the passport. So now, in theory, that also means we should have gear. So, let's see if it works. Alive. I don't like it. There's something in the grass right there. It ain't got a turning radius worth of shit. Nope. Trans is slipping. like something crazy. pretty tough but not that tough oh we have a power mode too does that do anything hell no whatever I don't even notice we don't have a radio yeah, who needs all that I wonder if we have air conditioning Cycle. I didn't need it. Oh, the fuel light's on, which probably either refuel or park it. Here, get out and film for a second. Me? Yeah, stand, yeah. stand in the middle right here and film. Okay. Don't get me dirty. I'm not blind, I'm blind on it. As uh, 3D machines would say, get the shot. We're already filming? Yeah, we're already going. that looked as good as it felt. Bye guys.
thanks for watching this production of MX Guy 95. Me and Will were here at the junkyard today just fucking around. This is our Honda Passport Junkyard Beater, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. And remember, kids, don't steal Honda passports. It's not cute.